Lesson 13 Creating Masters In this chapter, we'll discuss about creating sale purchase type master, bills and remaster and tax category master. In our previous chapter, we have discussed about creating the account and item master and have also discussed about the concept of masters. In this chapter, we'll discuss sale purchase type master, that is what sale purchase type is to be used for different type of transactions and how you can create them. And then is the bill sundry master. Bill sundry is the additional footer information like discount, taxes, and installation charges. And the tax category master. Tax category simply specifies or implies the tax rate to be applied whenever an item is used in any transaction. So we'll start with the sale type master by going to administration masters menu. First of all, we are going to sale type modify mode. You can see on the screen a lot of uh, sale types are already been created. These sale types are created at the time of company creation. Hardly there is a need to create more sale types. But however, in case you need to create sale type master, you can go to sale type add option. Here, first of all, we'll specify the sale type name. The name should be relevant. That is by looking at the name of the sale type, you can easily ascertain the type that is the tags for which it will be used. After specifying the name, the first option is specify here single account under the sales account information. That is the sales account to be affected whenever this sale type will be used in transaction. You need to specify here. You can specify the sales account here or you can specify in voucher. That is, you can specify a separate sales account with each voucher. Here we are selecting the specify here option and selecting the sales account. Next in the taxation type group, you can see a lot of options are appearing. First is taxable voucher wise. That is when this sale type will be used, tax will be charged voucher wise. Basically voucher wise implies that is tax will be charged in the bill entries. On selecting this option, you can see at the right hand side, a box tax calculation get activated. In this first option is single tax rate that is a single rate of tax will be charged in the whole transaction no multiple taxes next to it is multi tax rate using multi tax rate option means that you can have more than one taxation rate in a single voucher that is in a single voucher there are items of multiple tax rate you can select multi tax rate option for this with multi tax rate option you need to specify the bill sundry for different tax rates like that at one percent that at five percent and busy will automatically pick that on which item 1% tax is to be charged and on which item 5% tax is to be charged. Now from where busy will check this, busy will pick the rate of tax from the tax category specified with the item. We'll discuss the concept of tax category next in this chapter. But busy will automatically pick the tax rate from the tax categories specified or tagged with the item. Again, we are selecting the single tax rate option and you can see another fields get activated that is tax in percentage. You need to specify the tax percentage and is freeze tax in sales and freeze tax in sales return. It is the tax rate you have specified here. You want to freeze this tax rate in sales and sale transaction, which means you cannot apply any other tax in the voucher apart from the tax rate specified here. If you enable or you specify yes in the freeze tax in sales and sales return option. On selecting the multi tax rate option here, you can see in the sales account information box, another option specify here separate account for different tax rates gets activated under the sales account information option. Using this option, you can specify separate sales account for each tax rate. You can see on the screen first we have selected the tax type as goods, tax and percentage as one type taxable and then sales account. Now we are creating another sales account using the F3 key sale at 1% which belongs to the account group sales. And in the next row also we are selecting the type as goods tax rate 5% taxable. And again we are creating one more sales account with the name sales at 5% whose group is also sales. So you can specify different sales account tax rate wise also. At the bottom there are various options default sales account that is you want to specify any default sales account that is the tax rates that are not specified in this window for those tax rates which sales account is to be affected. Next, we are selecting the taxable item wise option. This means that you want to specify tax at the time of data entry item wise. On selecting this option, you can specify tax rate along with each item. That is while entering an item on pressing the enter key on the amount field in the transaction, an item wise tax rate window will appear which will show default tax with the item. That is the tax which it will pick from the tax category as specified in the item master and you can change it also. 
on selecting this option you can see various options get activated where first option is tax invoice that is this is a tax invoice yes or no calculate tax on item mrp you want to calculate tax on item mrp or not if you want to calculate tax on item mrp then you can specify yes in this data field then is tax inclusive item price that is the tax is already included in the item price yes or no if you specify yes in this option then Visa will treat the item amount as entered in the data entry as the combined amount of item which includes items price and items tax amount. Visa will basically do a reverse calculation to segregate the item amount and the tax amount from the amount you have specified in the grid. Next is hide item tax rate window. This field get activated if you specify yes in the tax in inclusive item price option. Specify yes in this option if you want to hide the tax rate window during the data entry. That is you want visible automatically pick the tax from the item master and calculate the tax amount from the given amount. If you specify no in the tax inclusive item price option then another field calculate tax on percentage of amount that is here you need to specify that tax is to be calculated on which percent of net amount if you want to calculate tax on the whole amount then you can specify here has 100% that is 100% of net amount next is adjust tax in sales account you can specify yes or no here that is you want to adjust the tax amount in sales account yes or no if you specify no here then you need to specify the account which is to be affected when this sale type is will be used in the transaction next is skip in vat reports if you specify yes the transactions belonging to the, this tax category will not be included in the vat reports this will be useful in service item next box is of region that is this sale type is to be used for local transaction within emirates or export that is outside gcc or within gcc Next, there are three options of exempt, zero rated and nil rated. You can select appropriate option as applicable. That is, you are creating this sale type for any exempt, zero rated or nil rated transaction. Then is show print deemed tax, yes or no. And the last options are in invoice heading and invoice description. You need to specify the heading or the description which will be printed on the invoice when for the transaction in which this sale type is used. So this is our sale type master. Click save button to save the sale type master. Similar to the sale type master is purchase type master. You can see when we are opening purchase type master in modify mode, lot of purchase types are also created at the time of company creation. If you want to create any new purchase type master, then you can use the purchase type add option. Next, we will be discussing the tax category master. Tax category basically contains the rate of tax which is to be charged with the item. It is the rate of tax which will be used for the item whenever that item is used in any sale purchase transaction. So first of all, we'll go to tax category, add options, specify the name of the tax category, select the type that is goods or services. Then you need to specify the rate of tax for local transactions and rate of tax for export import if applicable. And then is tax on MRP, you want to calculate tax on MRP, yes or no. On specifying yes in the tax on MRP option, two options calculate tax on percentage of amount you can specify 100% or any other percentage on which you want to calculate the tax and tax on MRP mode inclusive or want it to be inclusive or not. At the bottom there is a grid changes in tax rate here you can specify the rate of tax if there is any change in the rate of tax for example tax rate has been changed from 1 to 1.5 percent with effect from 1st june 2019 so here you can specify the with effect from date as 1st june 2019 local tax rate 1.5 percent so whenever this will be used in any transaction from 1st january to 31st may then rate of tax will be charged as 1 percent and if this tax category master is used in transaction carried out after 1st June 2019 then the rate of tax will be charged as 1.5% this is the tax category master click save button to save the tax category master if you open tax category master in modify mode you can see 5% exempt two sale types are already created these sale types are created at the time of company creation Next is your bill sundry master. Bill sundry is your additional footer information in the form of taxes, discounts, installation charges, conveyance charges or any such details. Here also if you open bill sundry master in modify mode you can see a lot of bill sundries are created at the time of company creation. Now we are creating a new bill sundry master by going to bill sundry add option. Specify the name of the bill sundry. Here we are taking the name as installation charges. Specify any alias, print name, then is the bill sundry type. That is, this bill sundry is additive in nature or subtractive. That is, the amount of this bill sundry is to be added in the transaction amount or is to be subtracted from the transaction amount. 
bill sundry nature if you are writing this bill sundry for vat taxation type then you can select the teacher as vat or as this is installation charges we are selecting the bill sundry nature as other default value if you want to specify any as we are specifying the default value as 25 this value will automatically be picked at the time of transaction however you can change it anytime Subtotal heading you can specify and then is the affect the cost of good in sale, affect the cost of good in purchase, material issue, material receipt or stock transfer. That is you want this bill sundry amount to affect the cost of good in sale, purchase, material issue, receipt or stock transfer transaction then you can specify yes in the required option. Next is accounting in sale. Various options under this group first is affect accounting that is this bill sundry will affect accounting yes or no if it is adjust in sale amount that is this bill sundry amount is to be adjusted in sale amount yes or no if you specify no then you need to specify the account which will be affected by this bill sundry so you either you can specify the account here or you can specify the account in voucher if you select specify account here then an another field account head to post will get activated if you select the option of specify in voucher then you can specify the account in the voucher that is you can specify a separate account in each transaction next is a adjust in party amount yes or no you can specify similarly if you specify no then you need to specify the account here or in the voucher impact zero tax items that is this bill sundry will affect the items in which the tax rate is zero so you can specify yes or no similar options appear for purchase the accounting and purchase box you can see as we have discussed the options for accounting in sale next is amount of bill sundry to be fed is it is very important how you need to feed the bill sundry amount first is absolute amount that is there is a fixed amount absolute amount for example you are taking fixed installation charges of 25 then you can select the absolute amount then is per main quantity that is the amount depends on the quantity you have used in the transaction for example installation charges are for 25 for one installation of ac for two acs it will be 25 into 250 so you can select the per main quantity option here then is percentage option that is you need to calculate the bill sundry amount as a percentage of certain amount which amount that amount we'll discuss here first option is 100 percent of that is you want to calculate bill sundry amount on 100 percent or any other percent of net bill amount that is the net bill amount inclusive of any bill sundry charge before this bill sundry in the transaction here if you select this option then you can specify certain criteria also by specifying yes in the selective calculation option and you can select the amount which will be considered for calculating the amount of this bill sundry that is list amount discount amount tax amount or any other such amount then is item basic amount you want to calculate bill sundry amount on item basic amount item basic amount means amount you have entered in the item grid exclusive of any bill sundry amount net bill amount is item basic amount plus minus any discount or any other tax charge before this bill sundry and item basic amount is exclusive of any such amount then is total mrp of items that is you want to calculate on the mrp of the item taxable amount you want to calculate it on the taxable amount then is previous bill sundry amount you want to calculate the amount on any previous bill sundry if you enable this option then you can see at the right hand side another box getting activated here first option is number of bill sundry if you specify one here this means that starting from the topmost bill sundry applied at the first position in the transaction will be taken as is for calculating the bill amount of this bill sundry if you specify a number greater than one for example we have specified here number is two then another option consolidate bill sundry's amount will get activated if you specify a yes in the consolidate bill sundry amount option then first two bill sundries will be consolidated and the amount which will come out this bill sundry will be charged on that amount but if you specify no here then the bill sundry at the second position starting from the top will be taken as the base for calculating the amount of this bill sundry next is other bill sundry that is you want to calculate amount on any other bill sundry here options are your bill sundry to be calculated on bill sundry amount or bill sundry applied on you want to calculate it on bill sundry amount the bill or on the bill amount on which bill sundry is applied you can specify the formula here also next option is of item description again here you can specify the formula also we'll discuss in later chapter the concept of item description that how you can specify different formulas in the item description and the last most here is the bill sundry amount round off that is you want to round off bill sundry amount automatic always upper always lower and rounding off nearest to 
so this is our bills and remaster click save button to save the bills and remaster so this is all we have to discuss in this chapter at the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise you can view the exercise on screen and attempt it hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily use and create bill sundry sale type purchase types and tax category master thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel